In this video I'll be showing you how to make a corned beef hash. Corned beef hash is traditionally a dish made up using leftover food, hence the term hash. Although in this particular video I will be showing you how to make one entirely from scratch. Although do bear in mind, should you have any leftover food from a previous meal, this can always be incorporated into a hash as there is actually no particular set recipe. This is just the typical recipe that I like to follow when making corned beef hash. You don't need that many ingredients to make a corned beef hash. You could make it with just potatoes, corned beef and onions. Although I'll be adding a little bit of thyme here. And to begin with, what we're gonna do is place the bottom pan of our steamer on the stove with some water to bring to the boil. Then we're gonna peel and dice 800 grams of potatoes. If you'd like to see all sorts of cooking and baking, why not check out the other videos on the channel? And while you're there, why not hit subscribe and turn on the notifications bell? Next we're going to dice our potatoes into nice even cubes. Begin by slicing down one side of the potato to give yourself a nice flat surface and then place this on the board. This will help keep your potato nice and stable and will stop it from slipping and reduce the risk of injury. As you can see here I'm dicing it into nice even cubes. This is normally how I would be doing it for a dish and all the off cuts I would set aside and keep for something such as a mash but due to the nature of a hash I'm actually going to dice up all the outer parts of the potato and cook those at the same time. Once your potatoes have been diced we need to cook those straight away to so spread them evenly between your steamer trays and place straight onto the steamer to cook. If you do not have a steamer you can always just submerge them into salted boiling water and cook them that way. While that's working away, let me take this opportunity to tell you about a great thing called Buy Me A Coffee. Buy Me A Coffee is a great donation site where you can really help out this channel by donating the equivalent of the price of a cup of coffee. Not only will your donation help out this channel in future videos, you'll also have the opportunity to leave a message where you could even suggest ideas for the next video. If you would like to support the channel, there's a link in the description. Your donations would be greatly appreciated. The next stage is to slice an onion, roughly 150 grams in size. Again, you don't have to be too particular. All we're doing here is peeling, slicing into a quarter and then cutting into slices. If you would like to see a video on how to dice an onion really finely, there is a video on the channel. Why not go check it out? Once your onion has been sliced, set it to one side, ready for the final cooking process later on in the video. For the corned beef, it's quite a helpful step here. I left it in the fridge overnight to get nice and cold. This will help it slide out of the tin much easier and also dice much easier. And once you've opened the can, don't forget to recycle it. When you dice up your corned beef, you want to dice it into roughly the same sort of size cubes as you did for the potatoes. Once diced, set aside, ready for later on. Once a few minutes have gone by, check on your potatoes to check that they're cooking nicely. You should be able to put a knife into them and they should feel slightly firm. You do not want to cook them to the point that they will completely mash as obviously we want them to stay whole when we cook them later on. You may need with your steamers to move the top to the bottom and vice versa during the cooking process. And obviously the same applies if you are cooking them in a pan of boiling water, you want them to be soft and then after roughly it took 13 minutes to cook the top layer and then a further few minutes to cook the bottom layer. Once they have been cooked, take them off the heat and set them to one side for about 20 minutes without touching them whatsoever. Once your potatoes have been cooked it is important to set them to one side to allow them to cool. This is to allow the starch to hold to keep the shape of the potato. If you were to try and cook them straight away while they were hot, they would just mash up in the pan.
Now we're ready for the final stage in our corned beef hash. You can use a frying pan or as I have here, use a wok. Just make sure that your pan is big enough to accommodate all the ingredients. Place it over a high heat and then put some oil in the bottom and then add your onions and begin to brown your onions. Keep moving the onions around and browning them until they become nice and golden, almost turning caramel on the edges as this makes for a nice bite when eating the corned beef hash. Once your onions are a nice golden colour, now it's time to add in your diced potato. I'm just adding it in the pan here to fry off just to keep it nice and simple as an all-in-one pot dish. Although, if you wanted to, there are alternative methods to cooking your potatoes, such as you could roast them, or if you had an air fryer, you could also cook them in there. As you can see on screen as well, I also added in 40 grams of butter. This will just help to make the potatoes nice and golden as they cook. It's also important here, you can see, prior to moving the potatoes around with a wooden spoon, I'm giving a pan the shake regularly to make sure that the potatoes don't stick together, as due to the heat contained in the pan and the potatoes continuing to cook, if you were not to do this and just use a spoon, you may actually end up just mashing the potatoes. Add in a couple of teaspoons of dry thyme, if you should so desire, and then give a good dose of pepper to the mixture, but do not add any salt at all because of the saltiness of the corned beef. Allow your guests to actually salt it to their own preference. Add in your corned beef and continue to mix it through until it's nice and hot, and then at this stage, I like to cook a fried egg to go on top just to finish the dish off. As I was just making this dish for something to cook at home, I'm just simply gonna present it by placing it straight in a bowl with the egg on top, You'll see in the photos coming up there are alternative ways to present it and also corned beef hash always goes really really well with some baked beans. And there we have our corned beef hash as you can see from the photos coming up there's lots of different ways you can present it and also don't forget you don't need to follow this recipe specifically it's always a great dish to just use up surplus stuff you have lying around the kitchen. I've also made this with duck in the past which worked very well. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like, share and subscribe. And why not check out one of the videos coming up on screen now. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.